So this, I got on the curb. It's a free one and it's massive and very, very pretty in and of itself. But you know, I like to mess with things. So I wanna do something to it. Well, I put it up on Instagram and on Facebook for the asking spot. Hmm, that might be something you'd wanna put on there. Or a Facebook page. All right, let me write this down. And I asked, should I add a touch of mercury glass effect, silver, or my favorite, copper? And the results? Well, nobody said copper, but I got a pretty good split on the silver and the mercury glass. So then I started looking into doing mercury glass and it seems like an easy enough thing to do, but everything I found was to do it on a clear glass and then you could give it a tint and nothing on what would happen if you did it to a tinted glass. So in comes these guys. Actually, there is a third. And uh, I'm in oh, 350. I went to my local charity shop. So really, 350, it's perfect. I've learned from my mistakes of not testing things out on something before you do the thing you care about. All right, first things first, getting these tags off and getting these puppies clean. Now, whatever technique you use, uh, whether it's the silver or the mercury glass or whatever, you always need to clean the glass first so the paint will adhere better. Now, most everything I saw was just, you know, wash it in um, sugar soap, AKA dishwashing liquid, and you'll be just fine. But I have learned the hard way, that's kind of a theme, um, that I need to go ahead and also do a isopropyl rubbing alcohol on it because that will get the fingerprint oil off of the glass. Doing a test on the very basics of mercury glass using, uh, for the technique, these glasses. They were just some glasses that had really cute little desserts that we got from Costco in them. I'm gonna try the two different techniques because one is to do it on the outside so that if you wanted to actually put a flower in the inside, it wouldn't die. And one is to do it on the inside because that definitely looks a lot cooler and more authentic. I am using Looking Glass Krylon paint and it comes in a very small bottle because you use very small layers of this. And uh, it's kind of on the pricey side. When you consider a full-size paint can runs you about four or five dollars, this one is more like nine, ten dollars. So, but you use so very little of it, hopefully it won't do it too badly. Now there is another set of double standard techniques. One is that you spritz it with water even if you're just dipping your hand in and spritzing water on the outside of this and then using the spray paint and then the other one is to use a vinegar water mix. Now I've seen everything from using one part vinegar to two parts water to 50-50. Um, this is somewhere in between that mix. The rules or the theory behind using the vinegar water mix is supposedly if you use vinegar water mix and you spritz it on, the water is less likely to run. It's just gonna remain droplets, which gives a more authentic effect. Um, the other theory is that uh, you can also spray paint first and then use this, and then that way you can have a little better guide as to how much you want on it. I'm just using it because I happen to have vinegar water in a spray bottle, because I always do did not expect these results. So here they are. They kind of both look really pretty and I would be happy with either. But can you tell which one was sprayed inside and which one was sprayed outside? If you thought this one was inside, you're correct. And this is the outside. The weird thing is, is they both look great. Um, but because I have more control on the outside one and they do look so similar, I'm gonna go with the outside one, which works perfect for the big vase. Now, the question is, how will it work with glass that's not clear? That's where our thrift find comes in handy. This next step is definitely gonna be a time lapse because for whatever reason, I've had it with past videos, it tends to be kind of a thing for me. That just don't do that well. All I'm trying to do is create a line around this. Uh, you'll see. It looks like the tinted glass takes less spray paint, so yay, that's cool if that's the case. I'm gonna let it dry though before I unwrap and see if this is the way I wanna go. 
All right, have let them dry a very long time overnight. And here we go, it's time for the unveiling. This one, when I was painting it, was sliding off anyway. <sighs> okay, so the vase out in the garage is kind of like this in color. I have to say, I kind of like it. Do I love it? You know, once again, I have that issue of I just can't get a straight line across anything. When I was prepping these for the mercury glass effect, I was using some rubbing alcohol on it, and you saw where the cotton ball kind of came back, and it was red too. And that made me think maybe putting vinegar on this might not be the best idea because it might make it go less red and I really like the red so I'm gonna try something slightly different that I may regret Warning, biophysical experiments extremely dangerous to earth people Now to untape this one. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, uh, fail comes to mind. Um, and this time I don't think it's so much my fault. <laughs> That's a switch. The the actual paint. See how it's not red anymore? It's, yeah, it's coming off. <laughs> the only way this could be a bigger failure is if I just dropped it. And I'm not gonna do that, even for comedic sake. But, um, yeah, this is not good. I think I'm just gonna spray it all silver so at least I still have some use of it. But um, we'll be taking this to show and tell. All right. Um, but the one thing I did at least learn from this and that you can pass along is if you are going to do something that you think is colored glass and it might not be, is go ahead and get a cotton swab with some alcohol rub on it and see if any of it comes off on the cotton swab because this one did have that. So that should have been my tip off. It is going forward. Since doing a straight line wasn't my greatest ability, I thought, hey, let's just do a bunch of crooked lines. This is where I should have thought more. Will I be doing this technique again? <laughs> no. Absolutely no. No, no. I mean, I kind of like how the top came out. That was about it. Um, <laughs> no. This is really, uh, no, no. That's really the only word I've got. Um, will I be doing this technique again? 
<laughs> no, no, I won't. Um, <laughs> this is, um, no, 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 no. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> Well, yeah, um, I hope you learned from my mistakes. Thanks for watching. Please, please subscribe. Um, Wait, I couldn't end there. That was just too bad. I mean, the whole thing is still abominable, but I did try to make it a little bit better by getting out my metallic paints. They're just acrylic paints, and I used like the slightly the brass and the silver and then some copper and I created these sort of cherry blossom flowers on the vase and um well it helped but yeah won't be doing this again comment nicely I know there's probably gonna be a, a ton of comments about how could you wreck that vase um I'm sorry but it, it's not gonna get tossed it's it's gonna be Somewhere in my house. I don't think I could sell this. Oh Lord, is this just one big blooper reel? No, that's coming next. I don't know. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Getting all the other from prior. Dishes for my. Um, still one piece. It kind of made me think, I don't know, but something about it, I was thinking, <laughs> that made a lot of sense. Okay, ever wonder what would happen if you just skip the rules about, you know, light coat sprayed on, then, you know, come back after it dries into another coat and just spray it and spray it and spray it and spray it. Well, I was too, so that's what I did with this one. It takes a lot longer to dry, like um, somewhere between 48 and 72 hours. And I know this because, well, oh my goodness, take that back, it's more than 72 hours to dry. Okay, so this was 24 hours to dry. This was 48 hours and it was still wet. And I thought it was dry now until, ugh. <sighs> so that's why, you need to spray light layers and just do multiple layers and not just spray and spray and spray and spray because I don't think it will ever dry. Okay, I know, it's another epic fail. But please, I learned, I think.